imported our media. Here we have all these cams. Uh, I'm going to go to cam one, double click into that folder, and then when you double click the actual clip, it comes up with what's called the preview window. So I have a little playhead right here, a little timeline. I can left click and drag to scroll through this. I can see that it is 28 minutes, 28 seconds, and 13 frames. What we need to do is drag this from the preview window down into what is called our timeline sequence. When I do that, it actually is going to automatically align the settings and dimensions of that clip into the, uh, into the timeline sequence. That's why it's super important when you're doing a production to make sure that all of your cameras are set to the same resolution and dimensions and frame rate and all of that stuff, just standardization of the cameras. So now we have this camera one. I'm going to come back up and I'm going to go to camera two. Same thing, double click. I'm going to take this, left click and drag, and I'm going to put it here. Now, if I were to play this, what happens is it's going to sound all crazy and insane because I have two pieces of video and audio, but they're not synced. What you actually have to do is take both of them, right click, and from there you can go to synchronize. Now, you can only synchronize two clips at a time currently in Premiere Pro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to synchronize the audio from track channel one, which is my first piece. And when I hit OK, it's going to take a processing time. It might take a while depending on the actual the length of the, the clips. And so it's going to do its thing. Eventually, however, it's going to shift the track over so they align. Another thing that you could notice is if we're just looking at the wave forms, meaning the audio, how the actual audio is here, we can see the rises and gaps in these. These are actually where the songs are playing and not playing. Uh, so we can see those and we can kind of tell a couple of things. We can tell that those are tracks, like the actual performances, and we can tell that they're not uh, linked up or uh, synced up because this is kind of staggered right here. So you can use your eyesight to look at audio. It's a really it's a really good uh, technique to seeing if things are amiss. So we're gonna let this process, and you see that it just ever so slightly shifted, and now everything looks pretty good. If I play this, everything is all set. The next thing I want to do is think about uh, if I if I keep on stacking these five cameras deep, uh, it gets pretty chaotic uh, for sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute the second track, and so now I just have that first track. So we have first and second, we just synced, and it was track two that moved over ever so slightly. We're going to go back up here, cam three. Cam 3 has two pieces, so I'm going to bring this in and I'm just going to put it in the track. I'm going to select track 1, hold shift, hold the shift key, and also select track 3 because uh, track 2 is already synced. I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, synchronize, and audio track channel 1. When I do that, it's going to go through the process again and it's going to shift my track three into where it needs to go. But notice how this is broken into two clips here. I'm going to have to do this again for the MV7788. So track one is your base. You synchronize the second track, then you synchronize the first track, and you continue up with that. I'm going to do it one more time here. Now this is already synced right there, so I'm going to go track one, hold shift, track three, right click, synchronize. Audio track to sync to is one, and it's going to go through and do that. This is the syncing. You want to do this for all five tracks.